Hi, my name is Lillian Taze. I'm president of the California Faculty Association. Our union represents the faculty that work in the 23 campus system of the California State University. Okay, well the California State University system is the largest public four-year uh, college un uh, university system in the United States. And what happens to it is going to affect the future of California and the future of the whole country system came about 50 years ago because of a really tremendous vision in public leadership about what it would take to have an innovative, happening society. And because of that, California has been happening. We created the University of California, the California State University System, the community colleges, and it made it possible for massive numbers of people to get, an, a, 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 get a college degree. And, and it meant something, and it would meant something very tangible in terms of business and economic life, and it meant something intangible in terms of the social life and democracy and how we go about being, having everyone being able to think and participate in our society. And so our university system has done so much for California and the country. Now, it's, it's under attack, frankly. Massive budget cuts, a billion dollars in lost money of, st of public funding just in the last few years, on top of deep uh, funding cuts that came earlier this decade. And the university system, this, our, our CSU, and to some degree the UC too, are not making it anymore. They can't take all the students we promised we would take. Co uh, high school students who were preparing and did all the work they were supposed to do to get in are being turned away. Community college students who did everything to trans uh, that they were supposed to do to transfer into the CSU and get a college degree are not getting in anymore. And the university system is now trying to figure out how are we going to do education cheaper? what they're really trying to do is do much, much more with much less in the way of resources. So the answers that they're coming up with will push students out of the system. 40,000 students are being pushed out, will not be able to get into the CSU this year. 40,000 qualified students will not be able to get into the university. Closing down departments, closing down majors, there is a whole lot going on that will really change the nature of what university education should be, to provide students with a broad educational experience as well as give them the tools they'll need to work in today's economy. The California Faculty Association made the decision that nobody else is really trying to explore what's a good way to fix this critical situation and keep this university system going for the next 50 years. Instead of just trying to figure out how are we going to manage, how are we going to pare it down, how are we going to do it for less, how are we going to educate fewer people. And, and we're losing our society, we're losing our, the cultural life that's founded on education. It's a crucial turning point for California, this moment. Which way are we going to go? Are we going to keep this education system going or are we not? So that's what we're trying to explore here today. And you know, we don't think that everything that's being proposed is necessarily what everyone would agree with, but we want to have the discussion and, and we invited John Seddon from the United Kingdom to come and help us critique the bad ideas and help give us some other ideas that maybe we could explore that might help us save this educational system. Good afternoon. I'm very happy to get a chance to introduce John Seddon this afternoon. Um, I wanted to start with just a very short story about how we got him to be here this afternoon or how this talk came about. Um, and it started when the Chancellor at the Board of Trustees rolled out his plan that, uh, you know, they were doing a deliverology plan in the CSU, and this guy named Sir Michael Barber, and he emphasized that he was a sir, uh, was going to be leading it, and uh, those of us in the room kind of looked around and said, well, that sounds kind of goofy. What, what, what is deliverology? Um, but when we saw Michael Barber's PowerPoint that he gave uh, to the campus presidents, we knew he was going to be a problem. Uh, one slide in particular immediately nailed that. Uh, obstacles to... Uh, tackling student attrition, faculty were the obstacle <laughs> to, to achieving that. So he knew he was dangerous and his plan was as well. Um, the rhetoric of it is very seductive, very progressive sounding. 
you know, we're going to improve graduation, cut down achievement gaps and all of that. But clearly much of what the plan was going to mean was dismantling the mission of the CSU as the People's University. So we looked around for folks who had critiqued the liberology, uh, who seemed to be experts and that would be kind of credible folks to, to speak with us uh, out uh, against, against this uh, plan. And John Seddon's name cropped up again and again. So lots of us started reading his stuff, um, what deliverology meant in the UK, and it really was like the, you know, those reading experiences where you're reading something and, and it's just exactly what you're experiencing. So we, we knew we had our guy. Um, he's the perfect person to help us fight against deliverology for several reasons. Is that he understands um, public service. He clearly believes deeply in quality public services and in the value of people who do the work in that sector. So he starts his analysis from those values, and obviously there are values too. His credentials are very, very impressive. You can, I won't give you all of them, you can see them online. He's written a number of books. He's worked as a management consultant on projects around the world. He's a visiting professor at, at a couple of universities in, in the UK. Um, and as an ardent critic of his own government's approach to public sector reform, and uh, of Michael Barber's Deliverology in particular. He has a lot to teach us about this latest initiative that Reed is trying to put forth and why it's wrong for the CSU and for California. We thank him for being willing to take this um, biorhythm wrenching trip from, from <laughs> England yesterday to, to speak with us today. He has graciously agreed to be available at dinner uh, and at breakfast in the morning for any folks who are working on deliverology on, on your campuses. Um, just look for them at one of the dinner tables. Feel free to join in and I'm sure we'll have, have a great conversation. So please join me in a very warm welcome for John Said. Thank you. <clears throat> well, <laughs> well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. I mean, after a welcome like that, I can't wait to hear what I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, I, uh, uh, I'm an occupational psychologist originally, uh, and 30 years ago I was starting to understand how, how organizations as systems drive people's behavior. You know, um, we design our organizations into functions, don't we? Uh, and, we and we give them funct people functional goals, and then we act surprised when they don't cooperate. So, I don't know what you do here, but in England, we send them off to the Lake District. We get them wet and dirty. <laughs> we have them say things to each other in the evening they'd never say in any other environment, and then we put them back into a system that stops them cooperating. What I've learned is it's cheaper to change the system. <laughs>